In this video, I'm going to discuss about the different types of probability distributions and uh, on what basis do we uh, categorize probability distributions. Um, and later on in the subsequent videos, we will learn each of these distribution uh, in detail. Probability distributions uh, broadly are divided into uh, two types. Um, one is the discrete distributions and the other one is the continuous distributions. Uh, well, how do we uh, categorize probability distribution into these two types? Well, uh, remember in the last session, we talked about the random variable x which takes the outcomes, outcomes of an uh, of a random um, dist um, experiment, right? So uh, the random variable x could take uh, discrete values, uh, or it, in other words, we it can take fixed set of values, fixed set of values, or it could take continuous values, right? Which cannot be fixed set; it could be lying between uh, certain intervals, right? So based on the outcomes or the uh, values that is uh, carried out carried by the uh, random variable x we uh, categorize uh, probability distributions uh, i'll take example i'll give uh, example of both these distribution one of the example of uh, discrete distribution is when you toss a coin so probability that uh, you will get a head uh, when you toss a coin it, it uh, the uh, outcome of this could be head and tail right so it does a fixed values but in the case of a probability that is going to rain tomorrow, uh, there is no fixed set of values of this particular, uh, um, you know, uh, experiment. So it, it could be a line between a range. So uh, we call it as a continuous uh, probability distribution, right? So um, and there are two more in, uh, definitions that uh, needs to be uh, understood very well before we. Uh, understand the different nuances of uh, different kind of discrete and continuous distributions one is the probability mass functions and the other one is the probability density functions well the probability distribution of a discrete uh, uh, probability distribution is known as the uh, probability mass function or the distribution uh, of the probability is denoted uh, by what is known as a probability mass function okay and uh, let me show you a probability mass function over here. You can see in this picture. So we have a distribution of probability uh, of three uh, e, uh, three uh, outcomes, one, three, and seven, and their corresponding probabilities, right? Now we cannot say that we can have a probability here. Here we do not know whether we can have it or not, right? So uh, we have this fixed set of probability, uh, and there is a gap. You can see. Right. On the other hand, uh, the uh, distribution of probability for a continuous probability distribution is known as uh, it is uh, denoted by uh, what is known as a probability density function. Okay, and you can see a probability a sample probability density function uh, in the uh, second uh, picture. Okay, so this is the one. Now you can see that you have a probability value at each point. Right. So uh, the x-axis is the outcome. If this is the x-axis and this is the y-axis, uh, you can see that for every outcome, uh, you have an associated probability, right? Every outcome. Okay, you cannot even draw it like this. I mean, you, it has to be uh, continuous, right? So it covers the entire area. Now, uh, how how do we treat both these uh, two function? Well. In the case of probability mass function, we can tell it for sure that what exactly is the probability uh, with associated with a particular um, outcome. For example, if somebody asks, what's the probability of getting 1 in the first experiment? Well, it's 0.2. It's very clear. But uh, in the case of continuous probability distribution, we cannot say for sure what's the probability distribution at a particular uh, point, right? Uh, because um, uh, you know uh, the continuous distribution or uh, the continuous function uh, it's difficult to locate uh, the exact point of a continuous uh, in the graph of a continuous function right so uh, to uh, you know make things more simpler we always find out the probability um, of getting uh, an outcome getting an outcome within a, a particular uh, interval okay say for example this is uh, 5 and this is 6 so if somebody asks what's the probability that the outcome is going to lie between 5 and 6 
So we are going to uh, calculate the area between these two points and, um, and by doing so we will be able to find out the probability. If you know the integral calculus, it's very easy. You just have to do um, a definite integral, uh, uh, you know, integration, and you'll you'll be able to get uh, the probability, uh, the uh, area between um, five and six, and this curve, right? The area under this curve, and that's going to be the probability that a particular uh, outcome is going to be uh, falling under five and six. Okay, so that's the basic difference between the uh, probability mass function and probability density function. I will not go into the details of the mathematics of it, uh, but you know we will see the detailed mathematics of uh, these two types of functions when we learn each one of these uh, different type of discrete and continuous probability functions.